Good morning friends, welcome to Pannika Tutorials YouTube channel. In the last video, I have taken one grammar and constructed the LN1 parsing table and even I have discussed how the parsing tree will be constructed by the LL1 parser. I hope you have watched that video. If you did not watch that video, don't worry. In this video, I will take another example for better understanding. I have taken a grammar a determines open braces A, closed braces or epsilon. So first what we have to do? We have to construct the LL1 parsing table. Let me construct the LL1 parsing table. What are the entries will be there in the table? You will have the open braces, you have the closed braces and you will have the dollar. These are the terminals are there. Am I right? What are the non-terminals? A is the non-terminal and the symbols which are there in the right hand side other than the non-terminal we will call it as a terminals open braces and close braces and even we will keep the dollar which is extra and we will not keep the epsilon as a terminal in the LL1 parsing table. Now we need to complete the constructing of the LL1 table. At the row side we will have the non-terminals. Here we have only one non-terminal so we will have only one entry in the LL1 table. One entry means one row will be there. Okay. Is it clear? Now how can you take this one? Come to this production A determines open braces A closed braces. So this is in the form of A determines alpha. So you need to compute the first of alpha. What is this one first? First of this one is First of this open braces, as it is a terminal, you will get open braces only. So you need to keep this production in the A on open braces. Now you have the next production as A determines epsilon. So what you have to do, you need to compute the follow of A. Follow of A is, let me write here, follow of A is, as it is a start symbol, you will have the dollar. And at the right hand side A is here, after that one whatever the symbol is there, you need to compute the first of that symbol. So first of the closed braces as it is a terminal, it is a terminal means it is a closed braces only. Are you able to understand first of any terminal is terminal itself. So follow of A is dollar and the closed braces. So you need to keep the production A determines epsilon in both the entries. Is it clear? So we have completed the constructing of the LL1 parsing table. Now we need to take a string. Let me take a string. This is the string I am taking. Am I right or wrong? Open braces, closed braces. This is the string because these are the terminals are possible. So I am taking this string. Whether the string can be derived from this grammar or not, how we will check? By using the parsing algorithm which is LL1 parsing algorithm. So first check it one. Once you completed the LL1 parsing table construction, you need to check whether can we do the LL1 parsing algorithm or not. How we will check that each entry whether single production is there or more than one production is there. If it is single production is there and you will have the errors, errors is not a problem. Is it clear? If you have only one production in each entry, if you look at it here, so I can say that this grammar can be parsed using LL1 parser. If you have more than one entry, we cannot do the parsing for the given grammar using LL1 parser. Okay, so this is not a problem. Now what I will do, I will take this string in the input buffer. You will have the stack. Let me write here, you have a stack and you have the input buffer. Okay, in the input buffer, what you will keep? You will keep the string whatever you want to generate. Okay, this is the string we want to generate. Now you can ask me, sir, why you kept the dollar? The dollar represents the end of the string. Is it clear? And always the top of the stack will consist of dollar initially. Okay, and then we will push the start symbol of the grammar. What is the start symbol of this grammar here? A, capital A. We will push it first. Okay. Is it clear? Now what you will do, your top of the stack is a non-terminal 
and your input buffer is currently pointing to a terminal which is open braces. So what you will do that time? You will look at the entry A open braces. What is the production is there? The production is A determines A closed braces. So what you will do is that, okay, are you able to understand what you will do is that you will pop this A from the stack, okay, and then you will write the right hand side in the reverse order. So you will be having closed braces, you will have A and you have the open braces. Is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? So at the same time, how the parsing tree will be generated as you have started from the start symbol A. Now you are looking the open braces currently. Okay, you are looking the open braces on A and open braces, this is the production. So you will derive from A on this one. This is the parsing tree has been constructed currently till now. Okay, now if you look at it, oh, this is the open braces, it's clear. Now open braces, close braces, dollar. Now your stack, top of the stack is open braces. Your input pointer is also pointing to the open braces. There is a match. If there is a match, you will pop this one from the stack. Okay, you will pop this from the stack and currently input pointer is pointing to this one. Even you will have this one also. Let me keep it now. Okay, now your input pointer is pointing to this one. Are you able to understand it or not? Now again, if you look at it, the top of the stack is a non-terminal and your input pointer is pointing to the closed braces. So you need to look at the entry A on closed braces, what it is there. A on closed braces, you have a production called A determines epsilon. So you will pop this A and you will push the epsilon. Is it clear? Now, what is the input buffer is pointing? Still the input buffer is pointing to this one. You have the dollar. So the meaning is that from A you have derived epsilon. Is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? Now what is epsilon? Epsilon concatenated with anything. This one epsilon is what? Epsilon is nothing but whose length is zero. So you no need to consider your top of the stack is this one and your input bu buffer is pointing to this one. Your input pointer is pointing to this one. Now your top of the stack and your input pointer is same. So what you will have to do? You will pop this one and you will shift your input pointer to this side. Now what is your input pointer is pointing? Your input pointer is pointing to dollar. Then what is the meaning? The string is completed. Am I right? If the string is completed and at the stack, if you have a empty stack, meaning is that bottom of the symbol is only you have a dollar, then we can say that the procedure is completed successfully. Whatever the parse tree you got, this is the parse tree for the string from this grammar. If you want to yield the parse tree, you can do it. How you will yield the parse tree? from the top of the stack or from the root, you will go to the left. Whenever you get a terminal, you will write it. Epsilon is a terminal if you consider it or not, not a problem. Okay. And you got a terminal and you got the root node. So this is what we want to generate even using the parse tree, we got it. So for this given grammar, we have constructed the LL1 parsing table and we have taken a string which can be derived from the grammar and we have done the parsing algorithm and we have constructed the parsing tree. I hope with these two examples in the last video I have discussed one example in this video I have taken another example with these two examples I hope you have understood how the LL1 parsing algorithm works and how it will construct the parsing tree. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.